Hey Aquarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for your current energy, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus Placements, and Mercury, because why not? So anywhere that you have Aquarius in your chart, this may or may not apply to you. It is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, we have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like right now you could be in a situation where maybe you are deciding whether or not you can um, count on a person or count on a group of people to help you set forth on a vision or a project that you've got going on. Kind of like your intuition could be giving you some sort of gut feeling about these people or this person. Because I feel like right now you're trying to protect your energy, you're trying to protect your vision. Um, I feel like when you put your mind to something, you will accomplish it no matter what. But there's nothing more frustrating than having a vision and I, an idea of how to do it. And then someone coming in and kind of like messing up the flow of that. So I feel like with the King of Swords and the Six of Wands, the universe is saying you're going to be successful no matter what in seeing your vision through to the end. But you may have to hurt some people's feelings in the process. And by that, I mean... If someone isn't helping you succeed or if they are interrupting your own personal growth, then maybe that's not the connection for you. Maybe that's not the person you should be working with. Maybe that's not the kind of energy you should be around at this time. In fact, the opposite is true where you should only be, you know, surrounding yourself with positive energy. So maybe you've started to notice, okay, this person is always, you know, in this mood whenever you know, I'm around them or whenever I try to get work done, they're, they're kind of, you know, affecting my ability to stay focused. So I feel like with the four of pentacles, you're trying to figure out how to, you know, keep yourself from being affected by someone's negativity or toxicity. So with the three of cups and the high priestess, this is you saying, I need to rely on my intuition because right now, you know, the universe may know something I don't about whoever it is that I'm surrounded by. And I feel like that happens a lot where we don't know who we're dealing with until something happens. But if we can rely on our gut feeling and really listen to it and pay attention, we may be able to avoid an unnecessary situation that, you know, is going to negatively affect you and them. So um, let's go ahead and clarify the High Priestess. For some of you, this could be about the fact that you may be collaborating and networking and working with somebody that has the best intentions, but because of past situations, it could be hard to trust right now. So, you know, one way or the other, it's like, do I or do I not trust this person? That seems to be the theme, but take it how it resonates. It could be one way or the other, depending on your situation. We have the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So right now, I feel like you are maybe trying to make an internal decision first. Kind of like you're trying to see everything for what it is, you're trying to see this objectively, and maybe with the Five of Swords, you're starting to realize what that decision has to be, but maybe it's difficult to kind of realize it in the moment or make it, you know, a real decision. Uh, basically, it's like we can feel that a person is not healthy for us, but we may have trouble saying it out loud, right? So, with the five of swords at the bottom of the deck we also have the seven of pentacles so maybe you need to give this some more time maybe you don't honestly i feel like there's there's kind of like this wave of um let's see how do i explain it like i suddenly got very very tired you know like i've i've been pretty energetic um all morning but i suddenly just got this wave of like exhaustion right so maybe you kind of are going through this where you are normally you, it's like when you're by yourself you're productive you're having a good time you're getting things done the moment this person walks in the room you're just like whoa what just happened it's like the air sh changed something shifted right so to put it in perspective, we have the Devil, which is Capricorn, Four of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. So right now, it's like you are having a hard time understanding how you could love someone or feel a certain way about somebody that also brings a certain side out of you or makes you feel a certain way that you don't necessarily enjoy, 
right? It's like the four of swords is you're trying to really sit with this and ask yourself, what is going on? Why is this happening? What is the meaning of this, right? And maybe right now the answer is unclear because we still need some more time to figure it out. We still need some more time to process. I just think that right now the hardest part is dealing with that frustration alone, right? Kind of just the fact that it exists the way that it does. Um, but I, I definitely believe that the reason why the high priestess is showing up is because a lot of you have more intuition about this than you think and that you're and then you're giving yourself credit for kind of like you really need to um, accept that what you're feeling is the truth. It's not just you seeing it a certain way. So, yeah, let's go ahead and clarify the three of cups. four of wands yeah i mean i think that right now you could be getting ready to make this decision and it's probably going to happen in a time where you may not be as prepared as you would like to be but i feel like the timing in general is going to be divine i think it'll be divine timing when it is that you have this kind of interaction or moment to decide and I feel like the outcome of it all is actually going to be a lot more positive than you think. We have the Hierophant, which is Taurus, the Seven of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like right now, the decision that you're making, Aquarius, is not just for you, but it's also for them. Kind of like you could be doing this person a, you know, a great deal by removing them from a situation where maybe they don't belong in the first place. Like maybe this is just a non-compatible type of situation maybe it's not even related to romance it could be work right maybe you work with somebody and you've realized over time that they don't quite help the productivity or maybe they are better off working in a different department but it's like you need to have that difficult conversation first in order for them to find where they really belong and you as well Otherwise, we're going to keep swimming in the pool of deception, right? So this Seven of Swords is saying we can't keep lying to ourselves or lying to someone else because it's easier. Because in reality, that's it'll never be easier in the long run because what we're doing is we're putting a stop to the potential of what a situation could be. So again, both for you and for them, I feel like the Four of Wands is the outcome of this, the outcome of this difficult situation, if this fly would leave me alone, is it's going to be pleasant it's going to be positive this four of wands is saying there's something good at the end of this road and right behind the four of wands is the ace of pentacles so there's also an opportunity that's going to flourish from this that's going to allow for long-term success on both ends and right behind the ace of pentacles is the temperance and then the star so this is confirmation right this is you this is your energy you're saying maybe right now it doesn't look this way but i know that with time it's going to make more sense and it's going to be better for both of us so i feel like you're making a decision with your gut feeling and it's going to work so i feel like with the hierophant maybe you're connecting to a taurus i think this is also about the fact that you're making a commitment to your higher self you know you're acting on behalf of your higher self you're not doing what you would have done years ago when you didn't know as much as you know now about you and other people and how the world works right now you're acting with the experience the wisdom and what you know so i feel like you shouldn't give yourself a hard time for making the decision that you're making because the seven of swords is saying there's doubt here there's some sort of you know um inability to believe in self for whatever reason it's time to stop that right if there's ever a time to stop you know, the, the air of deception, it is now. Because right now, what you're doing is you're blocking the potential of what could be. And I feel like you're definitely moving in the right direction. So if you have a gut feeling, if your your intuition is telling you to do something, it's probably for a good reason. So I think that with time, you're going to see this more than right now. But definitely just know that you are opening up doors of opportunities for you and whoever else is involved by choosing the right decision and choosing to do what's right by you first and foremost so really love this for you hope you take it take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one